Grace Omoasari in this report finds out who certifies the community hairdresser or dressmaker that you patronize. Trends in global labor markets indicate that personnel with skills or vocation are on high demand and in Ghana the situation is no different. A walk through town shows the prevalence of containers and kiosk housing dressmakers, hairdressers, carpenters and other vocational jobs. Of great concern is how these people are certified or passed out as qualified to operate their own shops. My interaction with some indicate apprentices who desire the skill either go through a period of between three and four years and then graduate to become what they call a madam or master. Lydia Asari graduated from her apprenticeship in 2002 and is currently the madam of God is Great Fashions at Elang in Accra. She told me in Akan she didn't have to write any formal examination before graduating. I didn't write any formal exams. I graduated when my madam was satisfied with my job. She refuted the notion vocational skills is for those who are weak academically. Now or two, on the other hand, is an MVTI certified hairdresser who lamented the prevalence of uncertified practitioners in the country. I wrote my MVTI exams at National Theatre before I graduated. I was marked based on my knowledge on the job and my speed. Since its establishment, the National Vocational Training Institute, NVTI, says it has endeavored to make vocational training attractive and formal through their field officers and inspectors. It's usually organized by the leaders of the various associations. So we talk to them to let them see the need that they, they should let their you know, apprentices write their NVT examinations rather than organizing their own. Because finally, I mean, if the person wants to look for a job and he sends, he or she sends that certificate, no one will recognize it. The Council for Technical and Vocational Education and Training, COTVET, coordinates and oversees all aspects of technical and vocational education and training in the country. Its CEO, Fred Che Asamoah, indicates the council is introducing new initiatives to help sanitize the sector. We've done the skill gap analysis to be able to find some of the gaps. We are um, validating uh, apprenticeship policy that tells us how best there can be a collaboration between training institutions and the workplace. So students that are going to the workplace, what are their obligations and what are the obligations of the workplace as well? Ghana's high unemployment numbers have been blamed on neglect of technical and vocational education and training. Industry players say the over-concentration on social sciences at the expense of entrepreneur and artisanal training limits the urge of graduates to start and own businesses. Well, from the look of things, it appears a lot more needs to be done for vocational training to become attractive in Ghana, as well as increase the penetration or the acceptance of 10% up above that to a level of 50%, and also to be able to achieve the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda. Grace Hamwa Asari, TV3 News, Accra.